All right, welcome to the first dojo. In this dojo, we're gonna learn how to deploy infrastructure to AWS at scale using AWS code pipeline and a tool called Stacker. If you watched the previous video, you saw that I mentioned that I'm, most of the time we're gonna start the dojos with a problem statement. And you might remember this problem statement that you're seeing right now. So we're just gonna go over it. Your client, customer, or boss wants to allow the developers to quickly roll out new features to applications running on AWS. But in order to do that, developers need the ability to deploy AWS resources to their own testbed, which means their own environment, on a separate account. This should be achieved with security best practices in mind. So right off the bat, we can highlight a few, a few keywords here. So you have quickly deploy AWS resources to the developer's own testbed in a separate account with security best practices in mind. So this is the proposed solution, which will, which is what we're going to be implementing uh, in this dojo. And so you, you're going to have two accounts, which one I'm calling build account and the other one is a target account. The build account is where you're going to have your CI CD pipeline and the target account is where all the resources are going to be deployed. And the build account, which is where your pipeline is going to live, you're going to have the pipeline is going to have four stages. So the first stage is the source where, where the pipeline is going to get the code from. The second stage is linting, and then we're going to be using a tool called CF, CFN Lint. The third stage is security, and for that, we're going to be using CFN Mag. And the fourth stage is deployment, and we're going to be using Stacker. One thing that you will notice here is that the solution is far from being perfect. So for example, first stage, we're, we're uploading code to an S3 bucket. Really what we want to have is a version control system like GitHub or, or Bitbucket. But the only reason why I decided to go with S3 bucket here is just, just to simplify the solution for learning purposes. So once you learn how the pipeline works, how, how all of the stages work, it's, it's very easy for you to just replace S3 with a version control system. So, and this is something that you're gonna notice in, in, in the dojos that I do, is that I, I try to simplify the solution, even though it might seem a little bit complex, but part of the solution I'm gonna try to simplify so you, you can learn more easily. So this is pretty much an overview of the solution. I'm not gonna go into details as to what each one of these tools does, because once we, once we get to those stages, then we're gonna discuss in much greater details uh, the functionality of these tools. And before we can actually start developing the solution, I just want to deploy a few things to, to our AWS account. And you're gonna, you're gonna do the same in your AWS account because the challenge has been made for an AWS account that contains a few resources already deployed, which is what I do usually before, before the dojos. So in the dojos, I, I provide the infrastructure to, to everyone. So then I deploy a few resources before the event. So this is just what we're gonna be doing in the next video. And once we, once we go through all the prerequisites, then we're gonna start developing the solution. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.